As a millennial, I'm part of the most advanced crop of humans that our species has ever seen. I love to go out and meet up with friends so we can all sit together looking down at our phones and message other friends who aren't there with us. I like my friends' online personas better than their in-person personas, so I don't associate with them in person anymore. And I can say with confidence, I have literally never held eye contact with anyone. How old am I? I'm 55. According to my birth date, I'm 33. But as a millennial, I don't identify with that age. And it's discrimination to think that I'm as old as my age. Now I'm 65 which means I should qualify to get social security checks every month now. When I order something off Amazon, it pisses me off that it takes until the next day for it to arrive. I mean, what kind of BS is that, that I have to wait almost 24 hours to get my new cold brew coffee maker? One time I started a petition against Amazon. Then I got tired of all the work it entailed before I sent it out to anyone. But still, when I was a kid, I always won the gold medal on the school's track team. I was only the 18th fastest kid, but I always won the gold medal. So did everyone else on the team. And the opposing team. Because we were all the best. What that taught me is that hard work and determination are severe forms of abuse. I learned that I don't need to put effort into being great at something because I can just have people tell me that I'm great at that something instead. I'm great at everything I do. It also taught me that me and my family can file a lawsuit against anyone who doesn't give me a gold medal. I have 87 voicemails that I haven't checked, and I won't because I'm appalled when people call me without texting me first to see if they can call me. It's so inconsiderate. Sorry for the interruption. I just thought the world was probably wanting an update about how my diarrhea is doing. Someone spiked my lunch with gluten yesterday. What? I can't focus. It's a condition, which means it's not my fault. Because I'm a millennial, I care enough to deliberately come across like I don't care at all. That's how much I don't care. But a little reassurance that that's a good thing would be nice. In the professional world, whenever I've had a manager, I've tried to schedule meetings with them for every 45 minutes so that they can go over my work and reassure me that I'm doing a good job. When they point out how my work can be improved, I get upset. I mean, some have even had the nerve to say that I can't take criticism. I'm not gonna listen to what those haters have to say. Haters gonna hate. I just need to work for myself. I need the freedom to be in control of my schedule and to do things my way. And the fact that I think self-responsibility is a form of cruelty and that I know exactly how to not know how to follow through on anything means there's a high probability that I'll be successful working for myself. Awkward. I love using one-word retorts instead of stringing together an actual sentence comprised of coherent thoughts. I also feel like they help show my huge depth of character. My dating life is on point. I have no problem getting the courage to ask a woman out on Tinder. And there's no question that the best way to create a deep, heartfelt connection with someone is to connect to their online dating profile while I'm hiding behind a keyboard. As a millennial, I like to do a little microdosing and talk about the future of VR. I'm so engaged in this reality that I've basically conquered it all. I mean, I have seen almost every episode of every reality TV show, so there's nothing left for me to experience in this reality. So I need virtual reality to bring me my next conquest. I've also progressed my linguistic abilities to the point that now I mostly don't say actual words. I just say letters that stand for words. LOL, LMFAO, WTF, OMG, OMFG, OMMFG, OMMFGD. It's a form of spelling that doesn't require any knowledge in knowing how to read. And it suggests that I put so little effort into saying what I'm saying that I don't even say the words that I'm saying. I just say the letters that say the words that I'm not saying. It's like an intelligent form of illiteracy. I'd like to thank my helicopter parents for always keeping me in a safe nest free of any challenges. Because just like baby birds, you'll never find your wings if you're pushed out of the nest. Never leaving the nest of comfort, that's what gives you the strongest wings. As a millennial, I just want to make an impact on this world.
What were we talking about again? 